Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, and the name of Allah, the All-Merciful, the Ever-Merciful, and the Everlasting Curse be on the Satan and his followers. Allah's blessings and peace be upon Muhammad the Prophet and upon his pure family. Our respected viewers, before starting with this episode, allow me to start with one of the sayings of an Imam al-Hussein, the Master of Martyrs, when he says, The one who is generous may attain greatness, and he who is a miser becomes miserable and contemptible. Our respected viewers, peace be upon you and welcome to Who's Imam Hussein, a series of episodes in which we talk about the different stages of Imam Hussein's life, starting from his miraculous birthday, talking about some of the stories and events happened to him during his holy life, mentioning some of the prophetic traditions and quotes said in his right by his grandfather, and then ending up with his unmatchable martyrdom. My name is Hassan Hadi and I'm honored to be hosting this program. Our respected viewers, in the last episode we spoke about Imam al Hussein arriving in Mecca after leaving Medina and we also spoke about Imam al Hussein paying pilgrimage to his grandfather, his mother and his grandmother Khadija al-Kubra. Allah's blessings and peace be upon them all. However, in today's episode we will talk about an Imam al Hussein arriving in Mecca and the letters of support he received from his followers in Kufa. Our respected viewers, even as the Imam traveled to Mecca, news reached him that Yazid bin Muawiyah had sent out 30 assassins to the city to murder the Imam. Al Imam al Hussein alayhi salam arrived in Mecca on the 3rd of Sha'ban, 60 after Hijrah. Once in Mecca, he visited the grave of his grandmother Khadija al Kubra. Immediately, the Imam began receiving letters of support from Kufa where the Imam's supporters had learned of the death of Muawiyah and Hussein's refusal to pay allegiance to Yazid, namely the son of Muawiyah. Allah's curses be on both of them. In Kufa, Sulaiman bin Sarad informed the Shia who gathered in his home about these matters and said the following, Muawiyah is dead. al Hussein has will held giving his pledge of allegiance to Bani Umayyah and has gone to Mecca. You are his Shia and the Shia of his father, namely Ali bin Abi Talib. If you know that you will be his helpers and fighters against his enemy and that our lives will be given on behalf of him, then write to him and tell him of that. But if you fear failure and weakness, do not tempt the man who risked his own life. To this, the Kufians responded the following, no, indeed, we will fight his enemy and we will give our lives for him. Thus, our respected viewers, the Shia of Kufa wrote to Imam al Hussein the following letter, in the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, to al Hussein bin Ali, peace be upon him and upon his father, from Sulaiman bin Surat and the believers and Muslims of his Shia among the Kufians. Greetings, we praise Allah before you, besides whom there is no God. Praise be to Allah the Almighty who has broken your enemy, the obstinate tyrant who had leaped upon his community, stripped it of its authority, plundered its fay, and seized control of it without its consent. Then he had killed the best members of the community and preserved its wicked. He made the property of God a state divided among its tyrants and wealthy. He was destroyed as Tamud were destroyed. Now there is no Imam over us. Therefore, come through you. May Allah the Almighty unite us under the truth. Al Nu'man bin Bashir is in the governor's palace, and we do not gather with him for the Friday prayer nor do we accompany him for the Eid service. If we learn that you will come to us, we will drive him away until we pursue him to Syria, if Allah the Almighty, the Exalted, wills it. Our respected viewers, the Kufans dispatched several carriers every other day for six days with similar letters. In the final letter, it was written the following, make haste. The people are waiting for you. They have no esteem for anyone except you. Therefore, hurry, hurry. And another letter was sent, which read in part, If you so wish, 
come to an army which has been gathered for you. Our respected viewers, upon reading this outpouring of support, he inquired further with the carers about the condition of the Shia in Kufa. In order to verify the contents of the letters as well as a gesture of support to Shia in Kufa, the Imam decided that he would send the voracious Muslim bin Aqil to their city to investigate what was happening right there. The Imam, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, told Muslim that if he saw the people were united and had committed themselves to his affair, that he would hurry to inform him about it. Thus he returned a couple of their messengers with his reply. The reply was the following, in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, from Al Hussein bin Ali to the leaders of the believers and the Muslims. Hani and Sa'ad, your carriers, have brought me your letters. They are the last two of your messengers who have come to me. I have understood everything which you have described and mentioned. The main statement of your great man is, there is no Imam over us, therefore come. Through you, Allah may unite us under truth and guidance. I am sending you my brother Muslim bin Aqil, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, who is my cousin and my confidant from my household. If he writes to me that the opinion of leaders of the men and wisdom and merit among you is united in the same way as the messengers who have come to me have described and as I have read in your letters, then I will come to you speedily as Allah wills. For by my life, what is the Imam except one who judges by the book, upholds justice, professes the religion of truth, and dedicates himself to the service of Allah the Almighty and peace. Peace be upon you, O Master of Martyrs, when you were born, and when you were murdered, and when you will be resurrected. Our respected viewers, this is the end of today's episode. Let's pray that Allah the Almighty hasten the reappearance of the master of our time to interpret the message of the grandfather when he says, I only desire to spread good values and to prevent evil. This is what we have for you in today's episode. Until we meet again, thank you very much indeed. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.